Hi, I'm Betek, and this is the problem with New World PvP and how to deal with hatchet spammers. There's no doubt about it, New World as an MMO has many problems. Yes, it's still in development, but I've tested more fully functional games in alpha testing phase before. It doesn't sound like a good start, right? However, I haven't had this much fun playing an MMO in a long time, and after playing the preview version of the game for a few days, I can pin this on a few things. But today, I want to talk about the foremost reason, and that is, this game has the groundwork for a great combat system. In this video, I'll first touch on some of the problems with combat and PvP, and then some possible solutions. So to kick it off, here's number one. The role of blocking is unintuitive and poorly explained. In most games, using a defensive option against an attack infers some kind of advantage in place of getting hit and taking damage. Other combat games, such as Chivalry or Mordow, allow you to repost or counterattack. Fighting games will reward you with a successful block by giving you frame advantage, and in some games the attacker will recoil from a successful block, leaving them open to attack. Many games employ this in a form of rock, paper, scissors. An example of this would be block beats attack by repost, a shield break mechanic beats blocking, and attacking beats the shield break mechanic. A simple dynamic that leads to every combat feeling like a game of cat and mouse. But in New World, this dynamic does not exist in the form that we are used to. In New World, there's nothing to gain from blocking. There is no advantage inferred. It is purely a way to stall damage at the cost of stamina. Repost does not exist. You gain no frame advantage to launch your next attack. Enemies are free to keep wailing on your block without expending any resources such as stamina. And none of this is explained in the game either. The combat mechanics are quickly shown in a very short cutscene at the start of the game, but nothing is explained. This weakness of the block mechanic is the foundation for the next problem that frustrates many a player. Hatchet spamming lowers the offensive skill floor while simultaneously raising the defensive skill floor too high. Now when I say hatchet spamming, I mean any light attack spam with a fast weapon. It just so happens that the hatchet does it the best, because it has a skill tree literally dedicated to spamming it better. Spam in other games can usually be countered by one of a few options. One, dodging out of spam. Two, a direct counter skill to spam. And three, can you guess? Blocking and reposting. Being predictable gets you punished. But in New World, many players are met with the conundrum that they know exactly what their opponent's going to do next, hatchet spam, but they are powerless to escape it as they hide behind their block and watch their stamina drain. I'm sure this is a familiar experience to you. This situation makes the combat extremely frustrating and distinctly unfun. It feels as though you're being punished for knowing what your opponent's next move is, and ultimately it precipitates the can't beat him, join him mentality. Why would I try to use my brain to play the game properly if I can achieve the same thing, and maybe even better, by turning my brain off? It took me several hours of getting chopped to death by enemy players spamming hatchet light attacks to work out a solution. More casual players probably wouldn't stick around long enough to work it out. I mean, why would they? It's just not fun. And this brings us to the third point. To deal with light attack spamming, you need to commit resources twice to escape. By this I mean you need to commit twice the stamina that you might expect to commit in another game's combat system. Where you might block and repost, or dodge in another game, under the duress of light attack spam in New World, you are pretty much required to expend stamina on blocking and then dodge before your enemy's next attack connects. From experience, this is the most reliable method of dealing with hatchet spam. Other methods include using an interrupt skill such as shield bash to sneak in between their hits due to its quick startup time or dodging. Dodging alone in combat does grant you some iframes, but between the stagger and the timing, the window is extremely small, if not non-existent. If you succeed in escaping the hatchet spam, congratulations! But now, you're at a stamina disadvantage, or your skill is on cooldown, and either have to back off to recoup some of your stamina, or attack at a resource disadvantage. This sounds like a broken system to me. One that punishes players for trying to take basic defensive options and gives a disproportionate reward to a low skill playstyle. So what are some possible solutions here? 1. Adding some advantage or gain to blocking. I've already mentioned mechanics such as reposting or attacker recoil. 2. 
decreasing the stagger time from being hit by light attacks, making it easier to escape. Increasing the iframe duration from dodging is another way around this, but I think this would decrease the skill ceiling of the combat actually. 3. Adding more interrupt skills to different weapon types to allow players to counterplay spam without being forced to use sword and shield. 4. Adding weapons with larger range that rely on spacing. They can't hatchet spam you if they can't get close. In summary, light attack spam in New World is problematic due mostly to a combat system which encourages it by offering too few counterplays and too few advantages for trying to beat it defensively. The current combat dynamic is extremely frustrating for players who are new to the game or not willing to put in the time to learn to overcome it, and this needs to change. A quick note to end the video, I was going to talk about other combat problems such as the life stuff, but that will have to be another time. Hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learnt something. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with what I've said. And uh, take care and take it easy.